Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aries love prediction reading for May 16th through May 22nd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Please don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know that energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my impulsive, kind, sweet, loving Aries. Show me spirit guides. What's going on with my Aries? Spirit guys, show me what's going on with my Aries. Let's see, Aries, what you got going on? What you got going on? What you got going on, loving Aries? Let's see. The death card. The tower. Seven of cups. Page of Cups and Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, Aries, at the beginning of your reading, you're you're transform. There's a transformation going on. There's a transformation going on, and I see this transformation. Something that's going on with a relationship that you're in, or with someone that you're in a relationship with. Because there's a transformation. This could be a Scorpio person because the death card is here. But the tower card is here next. And the tower card means a sudden breakup. It's a sudden ending to something. It's, a, it's something like, it, it's one of those things where it's just chaotic. Just all heck is breaking loose. And that is definitely what's going on right now. All heck is breaking loose. But what's in the middle of the read is what's interesting to me. There is someone or something or, or, or not even something. There is someone, and I don't know if it's you, but in the middle of your reading, the reason why this sudden breakup I think is going on and the transformation is going on because someone, the seven of cups means someone had a lot of different options. Now, Aries, I'm hoping that's just not you. It could have been, but someone had a lot of different options. And I do believe this is you, Aries, telling them that you're not going to have it anymore. You're done with this mess. And I, I really, that's what I see because the transformation is here. You put up with a lot of mess from somebody, but you've come to the place now where you're not taking it anymore. And you've told them, this tower card here is telling me, this is a sudden breakup. Because you know what? You're tired of being just one of the options. You're tired of being confused and just being one of the options. Because one minute, here they are. They're with you. And then the next minute you see something or hear something or see something and you're like, what the flip? Because there was someone else. Every time you think that this is moving like you wanted to move into being a relationship, a loyal, faithful relationship, it's not. Because they have a lot of different options. It's almost like they're full of themselves. And that's just kind of what I see. Somebody that thinks they're all in a bag of chips. But guess what you did, Aries? You let them know that they're not with you. They might think they're they're all that with somebody else, but you're, you've had enough of this this mess that's been going on, and you're putting your foot down and you let them go. It was chaotic, it was crazy, and you said, mm -mm, "No more of this hot a mess." That's simply what I see with this reading. But here, let me tell you what they're doing, Aries, and this is what I see, Aries, because you have been kind and loving, and you know, um, here they are back again. This page of cups. There might have even been a rejuvenation or a, a reset. You guys might have even got back together for a little bit of time. And I don't know. But you know what, Aries? This is not solid. You, This page of cups here, this page of cups means that they're giving their love. They're, they're saying, let's start over. Here's my cup of love again. Let's start over. And you may even have done this for a minute. But you're just not solid in this. This is... You're still not solid in this. It's like, you know, you, you, you're not having this mess. And it might be that you're just not tied to them as a relationship, but now you're just buddies. You know what I'm saying, wink, wink. You, you know, you just do what you do. But here's this two of pentacles, which tells me right at the end of this portion 
of your reading because I want to know what you're going to do, Aries, because right now you're going back and forth with that two of pentacles. That energy is going one minute I want them, next minute I don't. It's a yes or no energy. It's, you haven't figured out what you want to do because, you know, they've been there. You've loved on each other. You're trying to transform. But let me tell you something. You have not figured out yet. You have not left them alone yet. Not completely. You blew this up suddenly. It's almost like you know you're, You know how you can be impulsive. You told them goodbye for a minute, but you have not left them alone completely yet. I don't know what's going to happen, but if you have three to five minutes, I really want to know if you can sit back and relax and let me clarify this reading for you. Let's see what the spirit guides want to tell you about this person, you, and this reading. So let me see if this is your reading. Sit back, give me three to five minutes, and let me just clarify. Why is the death card here? Show me, spirit guides. Why is this death card here for my Aries? Show me, spirit guides. Why is the death card here for Aries? What's happening? What's going to happen? Why is the death card here? Oh, you have Black Herman. And this is the Magician. The Magician card. The magician is you manifested. You know, you kept trying to manifest something with them. And you not only that, this is not so much a manifestation with them, but this is what you asked the universe for for you so that you can get over this relationship. But somehow you just couldn't let it go. But the transformation card with Black Herman card means that you have manifested this opportunity to finally release this energy. So let's see why the tower card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the tower card here? Why is the tower card here? Show me spirit, guys. Show me why the tower card is here for my Aries. So I have the Ace of Swords. The reason you're releasing this energy is because you know it's the truth. You know that what you know, you know that you know that you know that this person is not right. You know that. You knew that, but you still played with them. You have the Ace of Swords. That's my truth card. All about truth. You manifested because you needed to this death. You needed a transformation. Here's a tower here. The tower is because you found out the truth. You knew, but you saw it. You finally found out about it. That truth card is that Ace of Swords. That's why you let them go. That's why it was a sudden breakup. So let's see what the Seven of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Ah, you have the Ten of Pentacles. That's what you want, a Ten of Pentacles. You want a happy home, happy life. That's what you were hoping for. But this person isn't. This person wasn't. Yeah, they want to, it's almost like they want to have their cake and eat it too. Because they want all these other options, all these other people. And you were just one of the options. Whereas you were looking to be the only option, you were just one of the options. They want their cake and eat it too. It doesn't work like that. That's not what the universe gives you. Because they have all these different options. They've not released these options since they've been with you. You saw it. The truth was was revealed to you. That's why you let them go. But here's what you, they have a lot of different options. And what you want is a ten of pentacles, a complete life, a happy life, a happy home, happy money, happy family. That's what you want. But they don't want that. They want their cake and eat it too. And that is in the middle of your read. That is what this reading is about. Someone that wants their cake and eat it too and you're not having it anymore. So now we have the Page of Cups. Show me. Why is this Page of Cups here? Show me why the Page of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Page of Cups here for my Aries? So this is B Bishop C.H. Mason. This is the Hierophant card. Oh, Aries. You wanted marriage. You wanted happy family, happy life. <sighs> now, let me tell you what I see here. Since you've broken up with them, what you wanted before, they're trying to give it to you. They're trying to offer that to you with that page of cups. They're trying to offer you marriage now. I could be a Taurus person, but they're trying to offer you marriage now. But will you take it? Because with that two of pentacles there, I don't see you accepting this. I think that you hear them, but, you know, it is what it is. You might play with them sometimes, wink, wink, you know what I mean. But I don't think you're looking to marry them anymore. But they want to offer you that now. Yeah, that's what they want to offer you. So let's see why this Two of Pentacles is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Seven of Cups. Here we go again. 
The reason why, whenever, thank you, Spirit God, let me say thank you. Seven of Cups is in the middle of your reading. Seven of Cups is at the ending of your read. This is all about the reason why that Two of Pentacles is here, why that juggling of energy is here. The reason why you would not take their hand in marriage now. The reason why you don't want to start over, you don't want this offer of marriage anymore is because they're still playing. They still have a lot of people. They still have a lot of options. They're just telling you what you want to hear right now. And that two of pentacles is why you keep juggling that energy because you know they couldn't have changed. They did not change. You still know what they're doing. You see them. People tell you. That's why that energy is still there. Here we have the death card. Could be a Scorpio person. But the uh, death card here over the magician, Black Herman the ma magician, because you know. You're manifested, and when I think you manifested, it was your energy to relieve, to leave this relationship because you knew it wasn't good for you. Here's a tower card. All kind of chaos going on. All kind of mess going on. You saw it, though, with this Ace of, of, of Swords. You finally saw it, and you knew it was time for you to leave and to let this relationship go, and you did. Because guess why? The Seven of Cups, they had all these different options. You thought you were the only option, but you weren't. And here you have the Ten of Pentacles. What you want is a happy life, happy home, completeness. You thought this was going to be complete. And the reason I know this is because you wanted marriage with a, a Bishop a G. H. Mason, which is up there as my card. That is the Hierophant card. Could be a Taurus person as well. But now they want to offer you a marriage. And that's what you wanted. You wanted that. But now here was this Page of Cups. Now since you've left them alone and let it go, that's what they try. That's their Trump card. That's what they try to do. They're they're just telling you what you want to hear. And you know that. You're, you know, you're smart cookie, Aries. You know that because here's this two of pentacles here where you're juggling this emotion. You're juggling, should I go back to them? Should I stay with them? Should I marry them? Should I not? They're giving me what I want now. But guess what? That seven of, of cups is still there. They have not changed. They are still doing the same thing that they were doing. You are still just an option. They are not for real. They are not. They are just playing the game. They are telling you exactly what you want to know. And you know that. Because you have already know the truth here with the Ace of Swords. But you know that now. So let's see what's going on. Show me Angel Oracles. Let's see what the Angel Oracles have to say to you. Oh. Take a step back. And you have taken a step back. You are taking a step back because you see them for what they truly are. Yeah, you see them, Aries. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Aries. <laughs> 